Hello again, this is Mike with Toy Train Tips and Tricks. And today we're going to take a look at uh, identifying uh, Lionel rolling stock, trying to figure out what it is, when it was made, and well, whether it's Lionel or not. And also um, looking at some of the things that collectors look at to tell the differences between cars. And I've selected these two that uh, at first glance appear to be identical Maroon Lehigh Valley Twin Bay Hoppers but there's actually quite a bit of difference to them, and those differences help tell us when they were made. Um, so first of all, uh, I find a random car I'm at, a, at a show, and I look at it, and I'm like, I don't even know if this is Lionel or not, much less when it was made. So what are some of the clues that I have to whether this is um, what this is? Well, first of all, right here on the side, it says Lionel. Hey, so we know this is a Lionel piece. Another clue, many times stamped on the bottom, we see the Lionel Corporation, New York, made in the United States of America. So the Lionel Corporation, New York, if it says that, you know for certain this, this was made before 1970. Uh, in 1970, the original Lionel Corporation uh, licensed out the production of the trains to General Mills under their Model Products Corporation, or MPC, or uh, Fund Dimensions, it later became. Um, so it no longer said Lionel Corporation New York. Uh, generally said, if it said anything, it would say like Mount Clemens, Michigan, where uh, MPC production was usually based. So we know this is a Lionel car. We know this is a Lionel car from before 1970. So the next clue in our dating, let's look at the couplers. And we have our standard knuckle coupler that has been standard on Lionel and other manufacturers in O-Gage since 1945. This is the post-war uh, knuckle coupler. So we know it was made at least in 1945, but before 1970. So 1945 to 1969, this is a Lionel post-war car. So we know it's Lionel, and we have the era. It's post-war. What are some other clues? Well, let's also take a look at the trucks. And the trucks here, we have all metal trucks, all metal side frames, all metal couplers. Uh, this particular style, the AAR type with journal bearings, this is the typical uh, side frame that was used by Lionel from 1945 to about 1958. But we can narrow this down even further by this piece right here. Notice this kind of looks like a bar across here. These trucks were first manufactured in 1951 and continued up to 1958. So we know that this particular car was made at least in 1951, although some inventory of the old type, well, it doesn't matter. This car was made at least in 1951, 1951 to 1958, sometime in there. As opposed to what we thought was its twin, look at the truck. We still have the metal side frames, the journal bearings, but look here. Instead of a bar, this piece looks like the back of a staple. We refer to these as staple end trucks. These were made from 1945 and were produced through 1950. But uh, overstock of these continued on some cars through 1951 and on a few into early 1952. So we know that this was a 1945 to no later than 1952 car, but most likely 48, 49, 50 um, in that range because we have, of the knuckle couplers, we have the kind, this is the magnetic coupler as opposed to a coil coupler that you could see a solenoid in there. The solenoid type couplers first came out in 1945. These magnetics started in 1948 on some of the 027 line and continued forward from there. All right, so a clue that's not a clue, as you say, well, Mike, it says right here on the side of the car, built January 1948. That is not helpful. If we were in MPC production and other modern era production, 1970 to about the mid 1990s, that would be helpful because it would tell us, uh, for example, if it says new 172, that would be a car that was first cataloged in 1972. 
But in post-war production, that doesn't tell us the particular car. It tells us when this particular body design was first made, which these types of hoppers did come out originally in 1948. Um, they were black. <laughs> so that doesn't help us out. We have two maroon ones. So we, if we're a collector and we're trying to date these, we need some other clues. So we check collecting guides and we look at body types and the couplers. Let's start with our bar end version, or I'm sorry, our staple end version. This is the earlier one. And let's take a look at the body. And notice, if I can set it here and you point these out. Well, first, all of the early ones had this kind of design in the middle. Screws holding them together. And look here in the corners. Little corner tabs. Okay, so this is what they call body type one. These were the earliest types. And so black ones, maroon ones um, were made like this. And this particular maroon one, type one body, staple end trucks. This is a 1951 car, 1951. Next to it, again, this looks identical except for we have the bar end trucks and there's two differences in the body. One, well look, our corners are gone. Ah, so this is a different body type. This is a different mold. Our little button in the middle is also missing. Hmm. And now this is really unusual. We have a change in the body, but more details are added. This is unusual. Usually when a die is updated, they take details away to make it cheaper. But if we look in the earlier car, we see this triangle of rivets and nothing along the bottom. But in this one, here's our triangle of rivets. And look, rivets along the bottom as well. So collectors call this the Type 3 body. So we have our maroon car, bar end trucks, Type 3 body. This is a 1954, 1954 version of the same car. We have a 1951 Maroon Lehigh Valley. We have a 1954 Maroon Lehigh Valley. So anyway, so there we have what we look at. These are called variations. And that's what uh, you know collectors look at uh, to say, well, yes, these are at first glance identical cars, but we look at the changes in the trucks, the changes in the body style to tell us when they were made, which one's newer, which one's older, and, uh, and figure out differences in production over the years. So I hope you find this helpful. So again, these are Lionel 6456 suffix-55 maroon Twin Bay Lehigh Valley hopper cars that, again, they look like twins, but if you look closer, well, maybe they're fraternal twins because they're not exactly alike. So I hope you like the video and like it, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, and join us for the next video. That's all for today, and happy railroading.